Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about how can you recommend a solution for using Azure policy. First, let's look into how can you set a compliance with Azure policy. Planning out a consistent cloud infrastructure starts with setting up policy. Your policy will enforce your rules for created resources. So your infrastructure stays compliant with your corporate standards, cost requirements, and any service level agreements you have with your customer. So what is Azure policy? Azure policy is an Azure service you can use to create, assign, and manage policies. These policies enforce different rules and effects over your resources so that those resources stay compliant with your corporate standards and service level agreements. Azure policy meets this need by evaluating your resources for non-compliance with assigned policies. For example, you might have a policy that allows virtual machines of only a certain size in your environment. After this policy is implemented, new and existing resources are evaluated for compliance. With the right type of policy, existing resources can be brought into the compliance. So how are these Azure policy and role-based access control different? At first glance, it might seem like Azure policy is a way to restrict access to specific resource types like role-based access control. However, they solve different problems. Role-based access control focuses on user actions at different scopes. You might be added to the contributor role for a resource group, allowing you to make change to anything in that resource group. Azure policy focuses on resource properties during deployment and for already existing resources. And Azure policy controls properties such as types or location of resources. Unlike RBAC, Azure policy is a default allow and explicit deny system. You can go and watch my previous videos I created for Azure policy. You can find them either on AZ104 playlist or AZ500 series. Now let us look into the difference between Azure policy and Azure initiatives. Why would you use one over the other? It totally depends on the Azure services and the use cases for each. As mentioned earlier, Azure policy is a service in Azure which allows you to create policies which enforce and control the properties of a resource. When these policies are used, they enforce different rules and effects over your resources. So those resources stay compliant with your IT governance standards. So Azure policy is really three components, policy definition, assignments, and parameters. So what is policy definition? Policy definition is the condition which you want to be controlled. There are built-in definitions such as controlling what type of resources can be deployed to enforce the use of tags and other resources. So what is policy assignment? Policy assignment is the scope of what the policy definition can take effect around. Scope of assignment can be assigned to an individual resource, resource group, or management group. And policy assignments are inherited by all child resources. The third component is policy parameters. Policy parameters help simplify your policy management by reducing the number of policy definition you must create. Parameters would be used to define which type of VM SKUs to deploy or defining a specific location. So how can you identify non-compliant resources? You can use the applied policy definition to identify resources that are in compliance with the policy assignment through the Azure portal. And the result match what you see in the Azure Compliance tab of a policy assignment in the Azure portal. Or you can use a command line tool to identify the resources in your resource group that are non-compliant to the policy assignments as well. Now let's talk about the policy effects. Request to create or upgrade a resource through Azure Resource Manager are evaluated by 
as your policy first. Policy creates a list of all assignments that apply to the resource and then evaluates the resource against each definition. And policy processes several of these effects before handling the request to the appropriate resource provider to avoid any unnecessary processing if the resource violate policy. Each policy definition in the Azure policy has a single effect and that effect determines what happens when the associated policy rule is matched. When that happens, Azure policy will take a specific action based on the assigned effect. So what are these effects? We have Dine policy effect. When you use that, this is used to prevent a resource request that doesn't match defined standards through a policy definition and fails the request. The second one is disabled effect. This is used for testing situations or when the policy definition has parameterized the effect. The third effect is append. This is used to add additional field to the requested resource during creation or update. The fourth effect is audit or audit if not exist. This is used to create a warning event in the activity log when evaluating a non-compliant resource, but it doesn't stop the request there. And audit if not exist enables auditing of resources related to the resource that matches the if condition, but doesn't have the properties specified in the details of the then condition. The next one is deploy if not exist. This policy definition executes a template deployment when the condition is met. And finally, there is a modify effect as well. This is used to add, update, or remove tags on a resource during creation or update. So how can you view policy evaluation results? Azure policy can allow a resource to be created even if it doesn't pass validation. In these cases, you can have it trigger an audit event that can be viewed in the Azure policy portal or through command line tools. The easiest approach is in the portal as it provides a nice graphical overview that you can explore. So from this example screen, you can spot resources that are not compliant and take action to correct them. That concludes this episode. In the next one, we're going to look into how to recommend a solution for using Azure Blueprint. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.